We head to West Virginia for the West Virginia AAU Grand Prix. I am not sure about all AAU bidding tournaments, but this was rather small. So they really were able to spread the teams out by having three different locations. Now seating and food inside the venue were a whole nother story. Some of the venues advised spectators to bring seating while others had the bleachers so that you would have to bring the bleacher seat for more comfort. So if you need a bleacher seat, we do have them on our website or we'll leave a link right here in the description box below. As for the merch, well, there were only the tournament t-shirts for sale at this tournament. So there you go. Now food on the other hand was rather different. Yes, they had a concession stand that sold hot dogs, chips, popcorn, soda, candy, and more. But now, they also had food trucks set up outside the venue, giving spectators more of an option. Both days, they had a barbecue, tacos, and even a jerk and curry truck that offered goat, chicken, and shrimp with dirty rice and beans. And while it was a little too hot for me, my husband went to town. To cool you off, there was an icy or snow cone truck on site to ensure that your sweet tooth was addressed accordingly. And on Sunday morning, there was Dunkin' Donuts coffee and milk being sold for those that did not quite have time to stop and get breakfast. Now, the website did state that outdoor food was not permitted outside of the venue, but that didn't seem to apply to this particular tournament. It's hard out here in these volleyball streets, so until next time, remember, play like you're going to be subbed out.